A standard espresso machine without a flow control system produces a constant flow rate of water when there's no puck in the way. Once we pop in a portafilter and add resistance with our puck, both flow rate and pressure are then entirely dependent on the resistance provided by the puck. It means that once we've started the shot, there's nothing we can do to change the equation. That all changes when you stick a little valve between the machine's pump and the puck, and that's all that the majority of flow control machines are doing. With this little valve, you now have the ability to restrict the max flow rate of the machine on the fly. Now, because we can control flow rate, and because pressure is simply determined by flow rate times resistance, we can now also control pressure. The specific control mechanism may look different from one machine to the next, but the important thing is that with this little lever or paddle or whatever, you can now decide both how much pressure and how much flow you want during any part of the shot. Opening the valve allows for more flow, which also increases the maximum pressure. Restricting the valve limits the flow, which reduces the pressure. Neat.